department has 207 more officers. On Saturday, family and friends gathered at the National Police Training Academy in Belmopan to watch the new police officers of Intake 94 march onto the parade square of the academy where they were officially welcomed into the police police department. At the passing out ceremony, the new Minister of National Security, Michael Perafit, inspected the new recruits. Ten of the new cops were recognized with individual awards for outstanding performance during their training. Minister Michael Perafit addressed the new police officers. In your duties to serve, you must discharge your duties with fairness, integrity, diligence, and impartiality. While you must be resolute and relentless in dealing with those who choose to break the law, I expect you to treat all persons with courtesy, respect, and dignity. Public respect for the police depends on many factors, and to a large extent depends on you as police officers to exhibit the tenets of an exemplary police officer. And to help guide these new officers, Minister Perfit says that they now have a manual to refer to so that they can carry out their jobs properly. For the first time, the police department has put together a manual of policies and procedures, a manual that serves as guidance for you as police officers and to hold your commanders and supervisors accountable for the decisions they make. The main goal of the manual is to improve the professional outlook of the Belize Police Department, to improve the organization's efficiency and effectiveness, and to reduce the bureaucracy in the services of the Belize Police Department and its offices. But that manual should only serve to reinforce the trainings and lessons to join the Belize Police Department. The recruits did six months of physical and academic preparation. Recruit John Gamboa was named the overall achiever and received the baton of honor for his performance during the training. The competition was tight, but yet the competition was fierce. And for me to have had an edge over the other 206 recruits was not easy. A typical day at the NPTA was full with activities that ranged from fatigue to physical training to classes, presentations by guest speakers, foot drills, self-defense techniques, and the usage of firearms and safety, just to name a few. Some days were long, other days were frustrating, but my most favorite days were the ones where, that were productive and the ones where we worked together in unity as one body. The NPTA has taught us many things of great value, such as punctuality, discipline, accountability, and most importantly, that we should be ambassadors of the academy and the department, wherever it is that we may go. This intake is the largest squad recruited for the Belize Police Department. It's also the first squad to have received a three-month field officer training program, which gave the recruits a first-hand experience of what it's like to be a cop. A program that is broken down into four phases, patrol phase, traffic phase, investigation phase, and prosecution phase. We were all divided up and sent to our respective districts where we were paired up with a trained officer who was supervised, assisted, and graded us throughout the program. Moreover, this program is very beneficial and has proven to be very effective as it provided us with only job training with further our knowledge and place on an advantage so that when we walk off this parade square, we will be prepared to carry out the duties of a police officer. And to empower even more police officers, the Minister of National Security says that the police department will be using more technology to gather intelligence to help reduce crime. In our effort to reduce crimes, while we intend to improve the system of collaboration with all stakeholders, the department's strategies must focus on embracing technology and on making every police officer a community-oriented police officer and an intelligence-driven police officer. As such, the department shall develop the capacities of all frontline officers and supervisors to be intelligence-gathering officers and at the same time a community-oriented police officer. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.